Hello and welcome to Flowcode 7 tutorial. This tutorial is the first program using the EB006. OK, in this tutorial we'll be using the Matrix EB006 board and the EB005 LED board to create your first program within Flowcode. However, to do this we need to make sure our hardware is set up correctly. And we will change the various jumper settings on the board to ensure they are correct. The first one is this one and its target voltage should be set to 5 volts. Secondly, make sure that the power supply is set to USB. The programming source will also need to be set to USB. And finally, ensure that the crystal oscillator is selected. This will mean that pins A6 and A7 will not be available to us in this project. OK, on to flow code. First thing we'll need to do is click, click the New Project button. OK, and from here we can select the chip that we need to use. We're going to use the 16F 1937 as it comes with default on the board. So pick, pick 16F, pick 16F 1937. From here we've got other tabs which we can use to customize our project. Here we can select a project title. In here I'm going to call it my first project and a, a bit of a detailed description if we like. Next we can change some other general options. Here we can change the clock speed. I'm going to leave this the same as it's the default clock speed on the board. And finally in the configure section we can change the configuration bits if we wish. I'm going to leave these as default now but more advanced users may wish to change these. If I click OK now we uh, should load up into the flow code environment. Now since we have an LED um, which is a component within flow code, we're going to have to use this components bar up here. An LED is an output, so if we select the output section, drop down to LED array, and double click to add it to our project. Okay, so over here we have our LED array. Now if we click on it, we can see here that the properties window is brought up. If the properties window is not vi visible for you, you can right click and click the properties option there which will bring up this window. So here we can see that we're connected to port B0. If we wanted to change this we could change it and connect it to a different port but I'm going to leave it as port B for the time being. The polarity is set to active high so the LEDs light when the chip goes high and there's some other options to do with simulation which we're going to leave alone for now. If you require help with any component at any point within Flowcode, you can right-click on a compo component and select Help. This will load up the component in your chosen browser, and you can see here that there's a detailed description on our Flowcode 7 wiki as to what the component entails. There's examples if you want to download them, an explanation of active high and active low, and a list of all the macros that are present for that component, um, and a, a description of each of the uh, variables which it uses. So I'm going to go back to flow code now and I'm going to go to our project explorer. So this project explorer gives you an overview of everything on your project. But I'm more interested at the moment in the components section. Because inside the components section we have a list of all the macros that we're going to use. So in this instance all I want to do is turn all the LEDs off and all the LEDs on. On and off with a small delay. So I'm most likely going to use these two macros here. So now I want to create my flowchart. So over here we have all our flowchart icons. Now the first icon I want is a loop icon because I want this to happen over and over again. So this simple loop should exist forever, while one. So while one exists, it'll always loop. So secondly, I'm going to create a, put all the lights and the LED on. So I can drag from this Project Explorer onto here. So that sets all the LEDs on. Now I want a small delay to happen, so here I'm going to customize what the, the length of the delay from one millisecond to one second. And then I need to turn all the LEDs off. And then I'm going to copy and paste this delay. So that should give us a one second delay turning the LEDs on and off. On and off. Now in flow code we can use a simulation to check that this is working. So if I run the simulation, this should show, there we go, our LEDs turning on and off. So now I can stop the simulation, now I'm sure that it's working, and then I can compile and send to the chip. So this will send it to my target hardware. So if I click that now, 
it'll ask me to save it. So I'm going to call it my first project and then wait for the compiler to finish and send the device, send uh, the program to my, de to my device. Okay, it should be a moment. And done. Okay, brilliant. And that concludes our first tutorial on using first program using the EB006. Thank you very much.